Hi everyone, Star Lord is here. This is a, a special video for YouTubers um, or anyone with a social media presence anywhere on any platform. Um, this could be useful for you as well. I've been meaning to make this uh, video for a couple of weeks now. Hubbub of holidays and all of that other stuff. It just sort of got pushed in the background, but I feel that um, better late than never, right? So um, it's not that it's late in any way. I mean, I believe when people see videos, it's the right time for them to see the video. So uh, with that said, I want to uh, carry on with the main message of this video. Now, this is concerning um, emails that we may get. When you put yourself out there, your public figure, um, of course, you're going to get random people messaging you, leaving comments on your channel, and so forth and so forth. I just want um, to be pe people to be aware to exercise caution when it comes to others who may be messaging you and trying to give you advice on your channel. Now, there's several reasons why. I feel this way. I myself as a YouTuber have been approached by randoms who uh, leave messages in my inbox, leave messages on the channel and so forth, who feel that they know better how I should conduct my channel. Now the reason why we need to exercise caution with this. Now this may, may be more particular to the tarot community, um, but it probably could be said for any uh, YouTuber whom uh, just does a dialogue and so forth. Now, I remember when I first started my channel, we always have the options to just show the cards and not our face. It's just doing, you know, you just see the hands moving around or the cards themselves. Now, the reason why I was um, basically prompted to not do that was because of theft. There are people out there, yes, there are really unscrupulous people out there who would like nothing more than to steal your work. Now, recently I've been approached. Um, I've had another friend of mine mention the same thing has happened to them as well. So just be careful when you get these supposedly doing it for your own good type of emails or messages where they're saying that um, it's, you know, it shouldn't be about ego. It should just be about the cards and we want to see the cards and not the person. Be very leery when you get these types of, of uh, suggestions because oftentimes these are grifters who are out to steal your work. Now, of course, they would love nothing more than you to put out a 15, 20 minute video of just cards because it's so easy for them to now download the video, overdub what you're saying and put it out as their own work. So just be very, very careful about that. Be very careful and cautious about anybody who comes into your, um, onto your channel and tries to tell you, period, how to run your channel. Okay, let's face it, everybody who's out there as a creator, uh, content creator, is creating from their own authenticity. Now, how authentic would you be if you were to listen to every Tom, Dick, and Harry who gives you suggestions as to how to run your channel? That's not very authentic, is it? Um, any of you who are out there who are actually doing this to uh, content creators, maybe think twice because... I mean, think about this for a second. If you're trying to tell people how to change their channel to suit you, and that indicates you don't care about the rest of the viewers and what they like, then um, that sounds a little narcissistic to me. Nobody should expect anyone to change the way they do things to suit you. Now that goes for in life as well. If you have people around you who are constantly uh, raising the bar and telling you to, to change this and change that about yourself, they obviously are either bullies or narcissists and they don't really, uh, they're not really in it because they care about you. If they're trying to change you every five minutes, then you know, let's just, that's a side note, so I digress. Back to the thing about the emails and the posts you may be getting from others. Just be very, very leery about it because like I said, sometimes there's 
uh, motive behind it. Obviously not always, but there is oftentimes a motive. I recently got a couple of those uh, emails and when I responded, thanks but no thanks, basically in a very, very polite way, um, I got attacked um, verbally. It was very aggressive and um, I, I just, I don't tolerate that kind of stuff. I don't take take uh, well to people, you know, wrangling threats and aggression and so forth. You just get deleted and reported, whether it's on my live podcast or whether it's on my channel or whatever. There is zero tolerance for people coming in and, um, you know, airing their grievances or, you know, being in any way disrespectful to the creator. Remember, we are out here creating the content that we feel has value. And if you feel it has value, you will obviously subscribe to the channel, keep coming back to the channel, view the channel. It's not to say no one's allowed to have their opinion. You can have your opinions, but please don't try and change the creator and how they do things. For example, myself, most of the time, I don't get uh, people trying to change me in the way I do things. They come back to the channel time after time because they like the way I do things. But I have gotten the odd comment about uh, like shuffling on camera. Now, I, I'm going to take this moment to also address that is because when I first started watching tarot on YouTube, I used to always get annoyed by the shuffling. I never understood the point of that. I would fast forward through the the shuffling. I feel like it wastes time. And that's why I pre-shuffle, lay out the cards, and then I'm ready to go. I res I'm respectful of people's time and they don't have a lot of time to sit there. Plus also it's very noisy if you're on headphones, you hearing those cards shuffling, it can be uh, it can be very disturbing. You have to turn the volume down. Just things like that. Now again, it's my own personal preference. Did I ever go to uh, the, the content creator and say, don't do that? No, of course not. Because this is what they chose to do. So how I chose to, uh, you know, work around it was to fast forward it. Now, the reason I don't do it is because it annoyed me. And when I first started doing my channel and was doing it the way I was doing it, a lot of people said, beautiful, this is why I love your channel, because of the fact that you don't do that. You don't waste any time. You're just straight to the point. Boom. Now, I have had a few people. Again, I have like thousands of people on, on the channel. So a couple of people will come in and say things like, um, show your work. Uh, why are you not showing your work on here? That's ab or, or implying that there's something dishonest about it. That is absolutely ridiculous. These are general reads that are going out to thousands of people. What on earth would be the point of fixing a reading? That makes absolutely no sense. Stop and think about it before you go and make these kinds of comments to people. Um, in Personal readings that I do, I always shuffle when I'm dealing with the people. They are paying for readings, and this is specifically about them. So, of course, I show my work in that respect. But when it comes to doing the weekly readings, the monthly readings, and so forth, I just do not like to waste time. It is so much faster for me to do it the way that I like to do it, and the majority of my viewers enjoy it in that way. So that, not that I have to explain myself, but I'm just giving you an example of the type of feedback I sometimes get. Now, I understand as creators, we welcome your comments. Please always comment if you have something to say. But when it comes to be aggressively trying to get a, a creator to change things, to make it suit your liking, when the majority of the people probably don't feel that way because they would not be subscribed and constantly coming back to that particular channel. Remember, when it comes to YouTube or any other platform, there are thousands upon thousands of channels out there. You do not have to watch content you don't agree with or you don't like. If you prefer someone who shuffles and go to the channels that that is happening, do not contact the creators. That is completely disrespectful. Can you imagine back in the day when there was no YouTube or anything like that and people were just watching network television? Can you imagine the networks getting uh, letters from viewers that said things like, hey, on uh, Seinfeld, I don't like that Newman character. How about you 
kick him off of there because I, I don't want to watch your show while the, this character's on here. Now, I'm sure the networks, if we were to contact them, would probably say they got a lot of letters like that. Did they respond? Absolutely not, because that is ridiculous. You cannot expect a creator to shift and change the way they do things to suit a couple of people. The channel is there for you to enjoy and get the value out of it. If you get the value, great. If you don't move on, maybe you once upon a time liked, it, liked a channel, just like we all once liked a television show and we just moved on to another. It's okay. It's fine. You don't need to explain anything to anybody. You can just carry on and go to a different channel. Now, the reason I feel that it's important to warn other creators just so that you don't get you know, sucked into this a possible uh, theft of your work if you're doing just the hands or just the voices and so forth. Just be careful with that because if you're not recognizable on your platform, anyone can steal it. Just be aware of that. Again, not everybody out there is, is nefariously trying to do something, but trust me, there are people out there doing that. And as well, while I'm on the topic, we also as creators get a lot of, uh, in our inbox, these um, companies that claim that they want to, um, you know, want us to do promotions and so forth for their companies. Be careful of these as well, because a lot of them is just phishing and they, you have to really, really look into these emails to make sure that you're not being scammed. There's scammers all over there. They're all over the internet. Just be careful with that and be careful with anyone trying to push you into a direction that you're not comfortable with. It's your channel. You make content the way that you want to make it. And it's as simple as that. If people don't like it, they can go elsewhere. So that's what I have to say about that. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. Love you guys. Star Lordis signing off and uh, take care. Much love. Bye-bye for now.